Good afternoon, maniacs. Just wanted to give you some thoughts about sales and what makes a great salesman. I think there's three things. Mindset, skill sets, and opportunities. I'm gonna go through these things really, really quickly. Mindset is very important because uh, something that we're trying to get through in the interviews to identify your mindset through the disc, through the hundreds of interviews that we do. Talk to Alex about it. He's going crazy. There's so many, it's so hard to find because we're so picky. We want people that are self-driven, uh, that work on themselves, that read the books, that watch the videos on YouTube daily, that are fueled or have a chip on the shoulder naturally through their family, kids, or past experience. That's uh, critical, and that's something that can be learned as well. But it's really hard, you know. I want we want to hire people that have it in them. So that's the mindset, the skill set. Skill set. That's why we built the university last year. So we invested so much uh, into it because we believe into the educational part about selling. You can learn a lot about it from uh, Fady, Mark, Rob, uh, Sharon. The, the the university that they put together is phenomenal. We can learn about the six steps of selling, how to connect with homeowners, about materials. One of the things that maybe needs to be something that uh, cannot be taught in, in class that can be done on your own is to learn a lot about the installation, deliveries, and job setups are, are critical parts to learn. So more you learn, uh, the more it's in, in practice. The more it's going to be in your blood and it's going to be a reflex for you to talk about. I see that being a, an issue a lot um, into uh, across the, the company and other companies. They hire salesmen to go sales. They don't know about roofing. Their knowledge is not there. They don't talk about confidence. With confidence, while we have all the information, you can go on YouTube and just type in GAF shingles and you'll have a ton of uh, reviews or installation, how to do drippage, how to do hip and ridge, ridge vents. Uh, that is so critical because uh, if more you watch those videos, there's always a question I guarantee you every week that you're not sure about that you could have been learned through those videos that we don't really talk about in university because of uh, there's so much to learn, right? So uh, we want to focus you on sales and sales activity, sales mindset, but to do the homework on your own, read the books, read the Timberline shingles, flyers, go through your profile guide over and over. I know I do, I do every year because I don't know. I always learn something else whenever I go through it. Uh, the last one is more, the most important, okay? It's the opportunity. The opportunity is so important to maximize every single opportunity. I hear this and it drives me crazy. It's very rare, but sometimes I hear people say, well, there's no opportunities. We need more leads. Uh, there's no hailstorm. Victim mentality, negative, doesn't work. You have to maximize every single opportunity that you have in you with massive, massive action. Service, sales, I'm not teaching you anything that you don't know already, but people talk about it, but they don't do it. You have to be a doer. You have to overcome it and over deliver. You have appointments, uh, it's Sunday night right now. You have appointments on Tuesday. Tomorrow you start your day, your goal is to pull them to be done on Monday. Unless it's specifically requested for Tuesday, don't want to move it, but still, do it. Faster, better than anybody else. If you're first to meet a homeowner, you're so much more likely to get the deal. Make phone calls, okay? We get busy, I know I'm the same way too, but I return every single phone call that it's six, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock at night, whenever I get an opportunity. If the owner doesn't want to pick up, they're not gonna pick up, you can leave a voicemail. But the action of doing it, they're gonna start trusting you. Send an email at four in the morning when nobody's expecting it. Because your action will trigger them to trust Monarch Roofing and really they don't have much information and data, okay? How are they gonna know we're gonna be there in production and do our job properly? It's gonna be from what they learn and what they see from you. So you are the driver to do this. They're gonna judge a production. They're gonna judge our warranty department, HR, sales, um, our uh, um, accounting department from you. So if you over deliver, they're gonna love us. And they're gonna go, you know, you're gonna prove to them that we're worth it, okay? Side story, I'm on my way to Hilton Head. Somehow I convinced my wife yesterday to let me go to Hilton Head and today's Valentine's Day, right? It's 14th, it's a Sunday, but she let me come here because she knows how passionate I am about this. 
and how important it is for me to be there tomorrow because we got some new employees and I want to make sure that we do everything we can to get them, them to be successful. So go out there, crush it. Don't do it for me. I don't care. Do it for you. You deserve it. You earned it. You earned it to be successful. Let's grow, baby.